Welcome back, everybody. We're going to get the second round of the 2018 Can You Why Go started lead card are Kevin Babbitt, Cooper Arnold, Isaac Heinen, Andrew Presnell. They all shot a 51 the first round, and they have placed them in order of their PDGA number, lowest to highest. Second card is not far behind. Second card is completely inside of two throws of the lead card, so it's a very tight grouping inside the top eight. So this is going to be really cool. Everybody in the lead card is tied. Got a barn burner here. Hole one, OB Danger on the right side. Doesn't really come into play unless you have a wild right to left wind and you want to go and play the skip off the road. That is an option. You'll see most people throwing down the middle if you're right-handed player. It's going to be a uh, Anheuser flex shot. Try not to fade out left down the hill. It slopes down towards the left from the tee pad. First on the box, we have Kevin Babbitt. He is from Lawrence, Kansas. And that's the one he wanted to avoid. It goes off left. Did not hold the turn. Cooper Arnold out of Tonganoxie, Kansas. This one's looking pretty good, but it has a little too much left to right on it. Doesn't come back out. Isaac Heinen, Merriam, Kansas. Nice high shot. That one's not coming out either. So he's over there, looking like 60, 70 feet at least from the basket. And Andrew Presnell from Ozark, Missouri, rounds off the lead card. He didn't get started as right as he did the first round on the last hole of the first round. So everybody's looking at a really lengthy putt for Deuce here. Andrew is trying to clean up the putts that he missed from the first round. Thanks to his great play, he was able to secure a spot on the lead card. Oh, excellent run by Isaac. Isaac is an excellent putter. But had Andrew made half the putts he missed on that first round, he would be wildly in the lead. So he just needs to clean that up a bit. And it's the brand new putter that he switched to. Good putt by Cooper. Great way to make a comeback. Cooper is uh, playing around with a new technique, a new style with his putt. Uh, he has shortened it. He is trying to eliminate unnecessary movement. So this is also an adjustment period for him. Everybody's tied after hole one. Hole two. OB on the right side. And it comes into play when you're really trying to rip a shot down the middle. You pull it right and it kicks off a tree. Otherwise, the street is not really in play. Our low branches. So you have to have a nice precise shot down the middle and low. Get that skip down towards the bottom where the basket is.
That shot's looking a little high and it's in danger. And it does clip a branch. This one's high, but it's more down the middle. Too much hyzer hits one of the last trees. Another high shot. Hits the same tree Cooper hit. Oh, Gotta keep those shots low on this hole. And at 475, it's quite a pump. Those are the shots that can put the road into play. If you were to kick the wrong side of the tree, you would be out of bounds. That approach is looking low, but it gets a good skip, and he's up there by the basket. Cooper throwing a stable disc. Low to the right, letting the disc do the work. I believe what Cooper threw there was a mortar. He used to throw some gators. Um, but that is, I know he's taken that out of the bag recently. Excellent approach by Kevin. And everybody is left with routine 15-foot putts for par. And this course is set up for scoring. There's no OB rope like in previous years, and there's no wind. After the second hole, everybody is still tied. Kevin goes for the roller, and that one stood up a little bit too soon. He is tailing out right. Cooper's doing something a little bit different. He is going wide right hyzer. And that one, I'm sure, is going a little further right than he intended it to. But he got good distance. He should be pretty open from there to the basket. Isaac lays down a huge roller, and the shape is fantastic, but it's going too far. Massive roller all the way 
to the brush behind the basket. Oh, something made it up. I mean, that did that rolled nowhere. Long approach left for Andrew. This kid looking kind of low. He's going to need a skip to get down there. But it looks fine. It's hard to tell if he made it past that tree or not. Cooper lining up a straight shot with a Nova. And with all this grass, I mean, the Nova stops on a dime already, so that's looking like a very nice approach by Cooper. So Andrew did make it past the tree, and he's set up pretty good. Unfortunately for Isaac, he doesn't have... He's got a lane out of the brush, so that should be a pretty easy up and down for him. And it is, looks 15 feet. Andrew from about a little past 20 feet. Well done. Looks like this group has their 20-foot putts dialed in. And it's looking like ooh, that one had a little suspenseful moment. For the third hole in a row, we have a star frame. Star frame is when everybody gets the same score on a hole. So we're three for three. Par four, not because of the distance, but because of how tucked in the basket is. The play is out wide left with a turnover flex shot roll, or if you have a powerful enough forehand, it is there. There is a stream behind the basket. The stream plays casual. It is not out of bounds if you land inside of it. Kevin looks to be lining up his for an approach on the back side which is a straight downhill shot it's nice and open but you have to get the right distance Cooper's in trouble early he pulled that shot right Isaac had thrown a roller the first round. I don't know if he was trying to do the same thing that time and it just, he just didn't get it turned over enough. Kind of like in between shots there, between an air shot and a roller. Andrew's doing exactly the same thing he did the first round. That's looking really good. Gets a bad bounce at the right end. Tell what happened there. Should be should be on the dance floor. Isaac's got a tree to deal with there.
goes for the jump hut. Oh, very accurate. Nicely done. And this is the view when you go for the back route. It's pretty open, but it is fast. Ooh, he catches the stuff on the right side. We'll see how far down he trickled down. Cooper misses his birdie putt from about 30 feet. For the second time in a row, Andrew is looking at an eagle on hole four. Tree stops it behind him, lets it remain close to the basket. Kevin hit early on the right, but that disc rolled all the way down to where you see him. Isaac's jump putt landed in the water. You can see it right there in front of his right foot. It is casual, takes relief, makes the putt, and that is a birdie. And Andrew will tap out his disappointing birdie. He was going for eagle on that one. So three players on the board. basket is behind the pine pretty wide open entry from the left side on the right side you got to deal with that tree and it's just a little more obstructed view but if you have the power to go with the forehand if you're a right-handed player that's the optimal shot Kevin is lining up his backhand. And this green is Skippy. And I'm sure that skipped. We have two full turn sponsored players on this card, Andrew and Isaac. Cooper is sponsored by Innova. I don't know if Kevin is sponsored by Innova, but he throws Innova. Nice shot by Isaac. Looks like he went a little bit long on it, but it's open. High Heiser. Similar skip to what he had the first round. He is below the basket looking up at it. It's not a, not a bad leave. Cooper has a good forehand shot. Surprises me that he's throwing this, but he must feel comfortable with it. Did you hear that? That was almost. That was almost a hole in one. The card on hole six said it knifed through the chains. Isaac from about 40, 45 feet. That was beautiful. Excellent putt by Isaac. 
Let's watch that one more time. Perfect putt. Compared to the first round, Andrew is in a much better spot for his putt. Well done. Nice birdie by Andrew. And Kevin's shot did skip nicely. And Cooper will settle for a birdie after nearly acing the hole. Oh, that's our fourth star frame in five holes. Hole six, blind shot, 296 feet. Gotta walk it in. It's all about feel on this shot. You want to practice this shot. Definitely practice it before the tournament. Get a good feel for it. The lack of wind does make it a little easier. Looks like it was a little, a little too far left. Because you got to consider the skip. Same with that one. Andrew threw it on a good line. So another lengthy putt for Isaac. And that one's way up in the air. Hits the flagpole. Oh, nice looking putt. Just hits the top left side, no chance of staying in there. Oh no, that was a really good leave, but it's a very good drive by Andrew. That is easy a spot as you can have on this hole without being absolutely parked. Kevin gets the birdie and climbs to a solo lead right now at 10 under par. Isaac cleans it up nicely from about 25 feet. Disappointing to walk away from hole six without a birdie. Yeah. 
Ball seven is a par four. I want to play it out wide right with the hyzer. Keeping it low with the branches. Don't go right into the woods. My preferred line is the roller. If you can get a nice roller down up the left side, you could potentially be within a jump putt range. Kevin, oh, that came out flipped, and he is in trouble. Isaac throws it nice, high, and flat, avoiding the trees on the left side and gets a good glide. Really nice shot by Isaac. Andrew threw a really towering hyzer the first round. Let's see if he does it again. Oh, he goes lower this time. He wants to maximize his distance. That should get a nice skip, and it does. PD2. <laughs> what a drown shot. The hyzer flip by Coop. It's a tree, but he's set up pretty good. That's a nice setup for your next shot. And here we see Kevin. He is in trouble on the right side. Just needs a patent pending turnover shot. But he's got stuff right in front of him where his release point is. Not easy. No, he doesn't get it high enough. It's in the in the leaves short. Nice approach by Isaac. I'm sure he wanted a little bit closer than 20 feet. And that's what you want on this hole. You don't want to leave yourself any more work after the drive and approach. leaves are. It's a wonder he found his disc. So Isaac looking to finish up. Gets a birdie from 20 feet away. Cooper has this 15-footer left for a birdie. And Andrew will collect his birdie as well. Kevin gives up the stroke that he gained on everybody on the last hole. Heiser, similar to Isaac's, and he is up there as well. Easy for a deuce. Get 
Cooper going low. But it was powerful, and he is up by the basket. Very nice drive by Cooper. And Kevin is looking for the same. Gets it high. Gets some good glide. And he's parked. Excellent shot by Kevin. So everybody's within 20 feet. Solid putt. Solid putting this round for Isaac, period. Well done. Back to back birdies for Andrew. That is looking like our fifth star frame of the front nine. And in fact it is. On to the last hole of the front nine. With three players tied at 11 under. Cooper tailing by one. this year so we are free to crush it's a premium deuce even without the ropes gotta play it high enough to get the glide necessary for the disc to get back towards the basket this one needs to get around those branches. It clipped one. Very close to getting all the way around. And that one goes. Yeah, those that shot went underneath the branches. He has climbed up towards the top of the hill. He should be just outside the circle. Cooper's shot is starting a little further right than he wants it to, but it has so much power. He is past the basket on the right side. Don't know if that tree is in his way. Kevin clipped something early, and that one is dead. Falls well short of the basket. In years past, he would have been out of bounds onto a very difficult drop zone. That's another thing about this hole in years past. The drop zone was not easy at all. right nice flight to the putt just off target Cooper's just laying it up that that green slopes away no need to take a risk and that was inside 30 feet that was about a 25 footer hits the left side and bounces out Isaac for his comeback Solid. When you can make your comebacks like that, you are way more likely to be successful on your long putts. So, that makes six star frames inside the first nine holes. Join us again on the back nine. See if we break this tie. Great start by all.